Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Brad Tragic once again. And yes, I smoke. <laughs> um, thank you for coming back and watching Brad Tragic. Um, so I, I tried to record this earlier and was interrupted. So here I go again. Um, I'm going to start out with basically uh, coming back to doing 14 bands. I enjoyed it. Still uh, looking, you know, for bands. I've been still loving, and I, I didn't really want to go on any hunts to look for new music. And let me tell you, it was a hold back for me because I love finding new bands, new music I've never heard of, and also adding bands that I know, that I've known for a long time, that I want other people to know about. So going right into it, I have something new. If you have a channel that you would like to advertise, on 14 bands, I will, I'm going to add a new thing. If you're a comedian, if you like to you know, do rants, what I have today, I have somebody doing a rant today. I'm going, to add, I'm going to say that at the end of the video. So if you have any shout outs, please let me know. And I will definitely say them at the end of the video after all the bands have been completely talked about. Amen. Amen. We'll go on. All right. So number 14, I'm going to start from the bottom, work my way up to the top. Um... Jennifer McCarter, yes, she is a female country singer, um, and I'm not a huge fan of uh, female country singers, but she wasn't bad, um, she was okay, she kind of sounded more to me like, kind of like a Martina McBride, kind of like, you know, she's a good singer, but, you know, really no fluff to it, um, but, I mean, it was, it was good singing, it's just, you know, not, not my cup of tea. Um, if you like people like her, you know, definitely uh, check her out, give her a listen, uh, and let me know what you think about her. Um, number 13 is Lynn Taylor. Uh, I guess been around the block. And uh, definitely, you know, uh, he's pretty good. He has a different style to his voice. Um, I, I liked it, though. Um, so he's got kind of a southern twang country sound behind him when he's singing. Uh, the music behind him, um, uh, but it gets you grooving, the, I mean, the music and the lyrics and everything, so it's pretty cool, uh, worth a listen, definitely check him out, let me know what you think about him. Um, then we go to a local Alabama rapper, number 12, and it's B. Period Dig Dollar Sign, and I just don't remember when I did it earlier, I don't even think I said his name, I just said a local Alabama rapper, so good thing I recorded this, re-recorded this, <laughs> Uh, local Alabama rapper, and um, he's not bad. He's pretty good. Um, I guess you kind of have to listen to him, but I, I didn't think he was that bad. Um, give him a listen. Tell me what you think. He might be Christian, but I don't think he is. There was just some comments down below. I wasn't sure what place he was at, but you see like a projector behind him uh, in one of the things that I found about him. So I wasn't sure if he was religious or not. I don't think he is. Because he was making comments that was kind of, you know, derogatory and things. So, yeah, I don't think he is. Then we go to number 11, which is Ben Craig. Um, it said local musician, but I don't know what state he was in. It didn't say. So, he's a local musician somewhere. <laughs> uh, so, pretty good. Kind of sounded like country or folk kind of music. It's pretty good. Uh, the audio is kind of, like, he could have sang louder. Or whoever did his video could like got in closer, got better audio, turned up the audio on his uh, videos. Uh, number ten would be John Montgomery. Um, I guess that's what his name is, because uh, I guess that's what he would be. What I know, what what he would have been known, what he would want to be known as, even though there's already a John Michael Montgomery in entry. But John Montgomery, um, pretty good country singer. I like him. Uh, he did some song by Chris Lane Band, which I'm not I'm not familiar with. I haven't, and it's probably somebody. He's probably somebody big that I, I don't know. But I'm not a huge follower of country music, but I do like you know. Every once in a while, I catch a country singer that I like. Um, and but I'm not a huge follower. Every once in a while, I listen to some country, and 
uh, so, just some of the new people I don't really catch on sometimes until after they're you know big or so they've gone away. I I find out about them. So uh, yeah, um, he did that Chris Lane band. And I wasn't sure about that song. So I did find uh, Springsteen. He did do a cover of Springsteen. Um, is the video I linked to. So definitely check him out. Tell me what you think about him. And uh, he does acoustic uh, country. So check him out. Number nine is Rage My Bitch. What a name. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> There's some weird names out there. Then again, Brad Tragic is kind of odd too. Um, pretty good metal band. Um, they deserve a listen. It, it, I, I guess it would be like... I, I don't know what kind of music to really call them. You'll definitely have to check them out. Let me know what they should be called. Like, what kind of music is this? Because it does have, like... It's, I guess the only thing I could think of to call them was, like, an electronic-infused metal music. Like, kind of like Ministry with Static X. Not, like... Yeah, not even... No. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. But just to check them out. Let me know what you think. Then they have a double take. And what I mean by double take is... I have two, two bands. Same name. Almost the same genre from two different countries, um, and, and it's kind of the odd thing because, like, I don't know, it kind of irritates me when I find bands with the same names, and you know I can understand they're like totally different genres, but when they're in the same genre, you would have thought that when creating their name, they would have looked for other bands to see if there was other people with that name. I mean, if if you're if you just don't care and you're just trying to you know have fun. And, create a band, just go out and do a couple shows. I mean, I mean that's fine, but when you're actually trying to make a go at it as a band, you want to make sure that name is not taken. So, you know, if you do get famous and, you know, you have to change your name, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's weird. Uh, yeah. So, when we get Godlike. If, of all names that would be duplicated, Godlike. So, on top of it being a duplicate, you know, it godlike is going to be like a hard name to probably get famous on, you know, I would, I would assume. Anything with God in it, you know, you're going to have a rough time getting in the mainstream anyway. So, you know, why they would go in with a name like that, no idea. Um, but the Croatian version, number eight, is a death metal band. Death metal bands... Do I really need to say much? I mean, a death metal band is a death metal band. I, I mean, I love death metal. I love it to death. And, you know, some bands I like more than others just because, you know, I just like, like some little bitty part of their sound is different than, or, you know, their imagery is better or something like that. Like, but most death metal bands are basically the same, you know. If you like one death metal band, you probably like a lot more. And, um, I mean, they're okay. I mean, I would jam if I was at the concert. I'd, I'd be excited, but, uh, you know, nothing really major sitting at home, you know listen to their music. So number seven would be the United States version, which I think they're the United States version of Godlike. And they are not death metal, but they are metal. They're pretty good. But they kind of seem like they fit more in with the mainstream metal. Like they do kind of talks fast, not rapping, but like talks fast. Not exactly like Slipknot, but kind of reminds me of Slipknot a little bit, but you know, not as crazy as that. I think if I had to say anything like the music kind of matches like you now i don't even want to go there i can't really it's hard to explain but they got kind of a different sound um i can't exactly picture what kind of band they sound like or who they sound like because somebody did mention that i haven't heard this in a while but it is kind of like i don't want to say rap metal because that's not that's not good because people are going to say oh arr, fuck that oh, screw that shit but you know so it's not rap metal but I think this is definitely worth a listen. Uh, if you like mainstream metal, definitely check out Godlike, because you might actually like them. The video, I will warn you, though, before you watch the video, is extremely uh, graphic. Uh, you know, they, they have imagery of, you know, eating flesh and somebody hanging themselves and, you know, rotting animals, with flies. It's, it's really gross. So just a warning, you know, if you don't, if you don't like that kind of stuff, turn it on, just go to another tab on your browser and watch something else as you're listening to it because yeah and then we get number six uh so I, I was going through and i was trying to find you know some different genres 
because I don't want to be this one genre based. So I did try and get some country, some metal, some rock, some rap, um, and anything else in between. Um, you know, every once in a while you'll see me throw in pop, but you won't ever see me throw it in too much. Like if I come across it, you know, whatever. Um, there's something I usually do, and it's, I don't know what I like to call it, I guess, you know, just weaving, I guess, through the internet, like, just using names, like, whatever pops in my head, that's, like, a random word, I just pop it up into, uh, YouTube, and then whatever comes up, I kind of weave through it to, uh, different bands, and, uh, I usually, it usually works, and I usually find a decent amount, then I have to go back and go, okay, well, what if I put, like, you know, Sublime, and it comes up, boom, okay, well, if you like them, you should like this, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, this works. I'll put them in because I haven't put them on 14 bands yet. So it works sometimes. Um, this I actually got from uh, people who send me, um, I don't know what you want to call that. They're like messages. They're not like friend requests. I have got friend requests, which I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with friend requests anyway. You know, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with friend requests. I don't even know how to access that really on YouTube. Um, but they send me messages about, hey, here's this video. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, so I will put you in 14 bands. It just takes a while. Um, I know I was working my way down just, you know, in case, you know, I didn't want to put them all in, but hey, I'll put them all in today. Um, so I got a video from K9, that's one rapper, and I'll use all rappers are in the same video, so I remember this. M-I, M-I-C Dark, Mick Dark, I guess I don't know. And then, uh, the third rapper is Scissorface. So you got three rappers. So technically, this is kind of like a 16-band list because you got three rappers. I would check out all three if you can find them online because I'm assuming they're all underground. I K9, I've seen had a video like in the list on the side um, when I was watching the video, and they're pretty good. All three rappers are pretty decent. They're not bad. Um, they're better than most underground rappers. I will admit that. Um, so definitely check these guys out. And another thing to think about when you if you want to listen to this band is. They're in the vein of ICP, so if you don't like that kind of music, you know, catch it to your throat, blah, blah, you know, if you don't like that kind of stuff, then you're not going to like them, so don't waste your time. Um, but if you're open-minded and you like rap music, definitely take a listen. Pretty good. Uh, the video is kind of stupid, though. I will admit that. I like the rapping, but if I could have cut some of the other crap out, it would have been better. Um, definitely. And then we go to Hooli, which, uh, oh, some people are not going to like this. Um... So I, I listened to it, and I, let me admit, I listened to most of it. I got to about, I think, two and a half minutes, and then I was about done. But he started off, he started off kind of, the, the music was pretty horrible, and the rapping was pretty horrible at the beginning. But after, I think, the first verse is kind of pretty bad. But once he gets into, the, after that first verse, it gets pretty, it gets better. Um, so give him a listen if you like. It kind of sounds like 50 Cent type rapping, but not as good. Um, but he's got great hooks. Um, so check him out, tell me what you think about him, probably won't like him, but, you know, hey, give him a shot. Okay, so then I'm going to get my two mainstream uh, bands out of the way. I usually like to throw in at least one, but I got a couple on today. Um, John Lennon, and I want to talk about John Lennon for a little bit because I was never a huge fan of the Beatles, and for a long time I said, you know, I'm tired of hearing about the Beatles. God, fuck the Beatles. I said this for the longest time, and then finally I... You know, I was able to um, um, borrow or yeah, rent it from the library, and I got I think a couple CDs, and I ripped them, but I lost those tracks. From, you know, I don't think I have those tracks anymore. Um, I ripped them, my computer messed up, and I lost those. But you know, anyway, I got to hear them, and they're really not that bad. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't mind the Beatles; they're not bad. But compared to John Lennon's solo work, I really, really, I really, really would take John Lennon's solo work over any of the Beatles stuff any day. Because John Lennon was really, really amazing. He wrote tremendous songs. And I mean, I'm sure he wrote a lot of the Beatles songs too. But, you know, just him alone, um, you know, writing music. And I mean, who, knows, who knows if he wrote those all those songs? I think he did, you know. But, you know, if he didn't write it, then I just like his solo work. There you go. Um, so if you never checked out John Lennon's solo work, you need to go check it out. Um, I have a video up there. I don't know if it's the best. But, you know, there you go. Number three, Megadeth. Megadeth. Do I have to say this again? Megadeth. And I think I've had them on here before, but I'm not sure. But hell, I'm doing do it again. Um, if you've never heard of Megadeth, you should definitely check them out. Um, they are so overrated, underrated, overrated. What do you want to say? No. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, 
they're underrated because I don't hear them talked about as much as what I think they should be talked about. It's like everybody seems to forget about Megadeth. It's like every time I hear or every time I hear somebody mention, you know, Metallica, they're like, oh, really? And said, yeah, and then Megadeth's going to be there. And then they're like, oh, okay. It's like, are you kidding me? Megadeth is going to freaking be there. And, like, people, like, do not get excited. Because I think, um, I remember telling somebody about, I think, uh, there's a band called Boba Flex. And I think I've had them on 14 bands before. If not, check them out. Free band. There you go. Um, but they were on tour with uh, Gargantuan Tour, which Megadeth headlined one time. And I remember telling my, my friends and some co-workers that, you know, they were on a tour and they were touring with Megadeth. And they're like, oh, Megadeth. And I'm thinking to myself, like, are you kidding me? Like, a band that basically embodied metal, like, in the early 90s, it's like, holy crap, in the late 80s, it's like, and no one cares about them now? Are you kidding me? If you have never heard Megadeth, you've got to go listen to some of their stuff. Old stuff, new stuff, they're still putting out awesome music. Um, it really, really saddens me that people just don't like Megadeth for no reason at all. It's like there's bands are out there right now that sound just like Megadeth, and they're like going, oh, yeah, yeah. And then they hear Megadeth, and they're just like, oh, I don't want to hear them. It's like, it's the same shit. I don't understand. But anyway, we'll, we'll go on. Number two, Mezro. Yeah, I had no idea before I wrote this list who the hell these guys were. Um, they're pretty good. And actually, it kind of led me, that's what led me to put Megadeth on after uh, I put this on the list. So, um, take Megadeth music, put James Hetfield at, at, as their singer, and that's basically what Mesro sounds like to me. So, um, if you think that sounds awesome, check them out. Let me know what you think of Mesro. I think they're from... I think they're from Sweden, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah. And some of these bands, I, I will tell you, I will give you a little secret as to how some of my, band, some of my bands I find. Um, there's some music groups... And I think it's American Music Pickers, and oh, there's a vinyl guy too. The vinyl guy is where I get all my bands. I've been getting my bands lately, because um, he's like, "This is what I bought." And he shows this vinyl. It has some weird name. I think it had, that's where I got Mesro. He got a Mesro vinyl, and I typed it in, kept it, and <laughs> so that's where I get some of my bands. Uh, just you know, watching other people's videos, like you know, I bought this CD this week, and I'm like, "Oh, awesome." Tap, 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 tap. Keep it in a little notepad, and then there you go. I go back and uh, put those names in. And yeah, I usually don't use you know, them all at once, but you know I kind of pull from that to put on there every time. And number one, 14 bands. And like I said, there's no particular order. I just try to make you know whatever is going to be the best way. That's what I go on the list. Let me blow into my mouth. Oh, sorry. I'm being weird. Okay, so I can get this done before the 20 minute mark. Dead Letter Circus. Dead Letter Circus is the last band, number one. Um, a hard rock band, kind of not like hard rock. Kind of hard. It, it, what am I talking about? They're a hard rock band <laughs> from Australia. They're pretty good. Um, fans of Incubus would kind of like them. Um, it's kind of like that type of heaviness of music where, you know, it's really, really heavy music, but the singer is kind of like really is a good singer. Um, you know, that's what I would give it. If I was going to say anything, like, fans of Incubus would definitely love uh, Dead Leather Circus. Um, they're on, like, a... They're on a pretty good label, I think. Because they got a lot of good bands on there. I just, I just didn't put them... I just didn't want to go, like, uh, look at them. Because I knew they were probably pretty decent. So I was like, oh, I'll just stay away. Um, but, yeah, there you go. There's 14 bands. And I'm going to go ahead and say the shout-out for this video. And it is showtime. Um... Watch the little clip he had. Actually, I think I watched the whole video. It was only like four minutes and 30 seconds long. He's a rancher, I guess. Um, pretty funny black guy. Uh, <laughs> trying, trying to think what, what he does. So, I'm real mad. I'm real mad. Why you mad? <laughs> pretty funny. Um, check him out if you like. Uh, I'm not going to say it. No. If you like funny people, there you go. That's what I'll say. Um, <laughs> but uh, there you go. There's a shout out for Showtime. Um, like I said, if you want your video uh, promoted on here, I'll, I'll definitely do it. I'll probably do about two or three a video if you want. If you if, if I get enough people, 
Um, definitely. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed everything. Hope you enjoy all the bands. As always, the links are above the band. Above? No, that wouldn't make no sense. The links are below the band name on my list that I will post on YouTube when I upload the video. There you go. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, in the next coming two weeks, I'm going to be all by myself at home. So I'll be able to upload a lot more band. What am I talking about? 14 bands. So I hope you have fun, uh, Gander, uh, in the future. 14 bands will be all audio. Uh, if you're not a fan of wrestling, I talked about this in the other one. But just real quickly, um, if you've ever seen the waves, like in the visual, visualizations, if you right-click on like Windows Media Player and you're just wanting to, you know, smoke pot and watch the screen, oh, man, you listen to that music, man. And you, just, you, know, you have the things going on the screen. I'm thinking about doing something like that where I just talk over that, but just have the waves so I don't want to make anybody sick or anything. Um, <laughs> But um, definitely do something kind of simple like that to where you know I'm talking and it's something you just look at, you know, while I'm talking. And do the 14 bands that way. So, hey, hope you like it. But anyway, hope you like what, hope you like 14 bands. Hope you thought these these uh, bands were a good selection. And hope to see you, whatever. I hope to have you watch again. There you go. I don't know. I can't talk this today. I can't talk at all. Okay, well, I'm good. I went over the 20-minute mark. Sorry. For all you in, uh, people who can't sit still. Sorry. Um, okay. Sorry. Don't kill me. All right. I'm out of here. Keep rocking. This has been Brad Tragic. I'm out. And the thing's still going. I hit stop and it does not stop. <sighs> Keep rocking. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs>